Hello and welcome back to our farm here in County Galway. So today we're going to be answering a question that is probably the most asked question that we get. So it's all about how snails breed. So today we're going to be explaining everything that's involved in snails mating, how they do it, when they do it and what way it works. And we'll try to explain this in the best way that we can. So stick with us and we'll go through it all with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe because the more likes that we get, the more I'll know that you like what we do and the more videos I'll be able to put up and show you different stages and different elements of the whole snail farming process. So thank you. It starts with a light, soft touch. One tentacle gently reaching out, hesitant, hopeful, hanging slightly in the air. There's a pause, skin touches skin. One softly strokes the other and slides closer. And then carefully, they wrap themselves together, stroking, probbing, entwining. They glisten as they move, and because they are snails, everything happens slowly, very slowly. The rubbing, the rapport, the intensity of it all, snails mating is extraordinary to watch. Snails are hermaphrodites. Although they have both male and female reproductive organs, they must mate with another snail of the same species before they lay eggs. Mating occurs from late spring and throughout summer. After mating, snails usually lay eggs in just a few weeks. Snails mate out in the open, on garden patios, in clearings, on forest floors, and they come together and mate for one, two, even three to four hours at a time under the sky where they can be seen by rats, birds, mice and other animals that might want to eat them or who sees them as food. Snails can't make quick getaways so exposing themselves like this is dangerous, crazy dangerous. So what's going on? What makes them so deeply preoccupied with each other? Here's the answer. Snail mating is a very complicated process. Snails have a lot to think about when they mate because they are hermaphrodites. Unlike you, these snails can produce semen like males and carry eggs like females all at the exact same time, which is both an advantage and a problem. Snails don't pounce. They circle, they slowly edge into position, always ready to pull back or realign. Their mating is tense charged on, off, and then on again. In most animals, snails included, semen is plentiful, cheap to produce, and fun to unload. So one presumes that both snails are eager to get this part done. Eggs, on the other hand, are limited and hard to produce, and therefore precious. You don't just let anyone fertilize your eggs. So if one of these snails picks up a whiff of ill health or disease on the other snail, it may be happy to poke, but it is not at all interested in being poked. No one wants its precious eggs fertilized by a sick dad. So the re receiving snail might lock its partner out of its opening while also trying to penetrate its partner. This could cause feelings of frustration, confusion and even unfairness in the other snail. In hermaphrodite mating, it becomes fraught, with each individual being cautious about receiving semen while at the same time trying to inseminate its partner. Sexually speaking, two snails with four minds, a foursome in a twosome, makes for complex mating. That's why snails are always on tippy toe. They have so much to figure out. The mating behavior of a snail can be divided into three phases. Introduction, love dart shooting, and mating. At the end of the introductory phase, one of the snails in the courting pair shoots its love dart, and the second snail usually shoots its own love dart within 30 minutes. The term dart shooting, while convenient, is inaccurate because the dart does not actually fly through the air. The dart is pushed into the skin of the partner by a thick and forceful movement of the love dart. It is said that once the dart is shot, it detaches from the dart sack and remains in the skin of the partner. The dart is usually shot into the partner's right side a few millimetres behind the neck. Once both snails have shot their love darts, they attempt to achieve their mating. 
The first dare shooter will always be attempting mating even before the second dart is shot, but the partner will not allow mating until it itself has shot a love dart and is ready to mate. After successful love darts, the pair finally mate and become motionless and maintain mating for four to six hours. This time is required to exchange the semen of both partners. After mating, the snails lay eggs within a few weeks. The egg clutches of a spursum muller comprise of a hundred eggs on average, and the eggs have a semi-calcified shell, which means that calcium crystals are embedded in the jelly-like inner lining of the eggshell. So why be a hermaphrodite? Are there lots of them? Well, here's a surprise, they're everywhere. 80% of the plant kingdom produces seeds and eggs and can give or receive, making them hermaphrodites. They've learned that when the weather gets cold or wet, bees can't be depended on to buzz by and pollinate. So they have a we can do it attitude. Animals, generally speaking, are sexed, divided into male and female. But if you subtract insects, which make up more than 75% of the animal kingdom and are not hermaphrodites. We are left with a figure of one third hermaphrodite species among all animal species. That's a chunk of hermaphrodites. Thanks everyone for watching our video. I hope you found some bit of information on it that you didn't know about snails before. I hope to do more of these videos as we move along and we'll cover different aspects of snail farming bit by bit. And thanks everybody for watching. If you want to keep up to date, don't forget to subscribe or follow us and we'll talk to you everyone soon. Thank you.